There are many pests that can infest our pantries, like grain beetles, rice weevils, Indian meal moths, and even rodents. Food storage is vital, and if we allow ourselves to overlook pests like these, they can take over our pantries and cause up to hundreds of dollars in food damages. So in this video, we'll show you how you can treat your pantry and prevent infestations from breaking out to keep your food safe and fit for consumption. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first step to pest-proofing your pantry is to place commonly infested foods or open food packages into separate airtight containers. Commonly infested products include, but are not limited to, flour, nuts, beans, dried fruits, crackers, tobacco, and pet food. By separating foods into airtight containers, this makes it so that if you accidentally stock infested food, pests inside a container will be unable to escape or penetrate through, keeping the infestation quarantined from the rest of the pantry. Visible signs that a container is infested can include webbing, holes on the food surface, or a foul, musty odor. Next, start to clear away the rest of your pantry. As you remove items, take note of each item's expiration date. When you reshelve these items later, you can organize your pantry by expiration date and plan to consume foods set to go bad sooner. Once the pantry has been cleared and foods have been placed into airtight containers, you'll need to conduct some preventative treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets out of treated areas until dry. Many pantry infestations start when you unknowingly bring in food that's already been infested. To curb this from happening, carefully examine any food packages before you buy them in the store. Look for any holes in the bag or box, and if the packaging is transparent, try to look for any pests or pest activity within. Even perfectly good-looking packages can contain pests in the form of eggs. These can be difficult to see with the naked eye or burrowed into grains. When these eggs hatch, they can grow into larvae and spread throughout the rest of your pantry. To stop this from happening, you'll need to treat your pantry with a residual insecticide to prevent these infestations from growing and getting out of hand. We recommend you use a product like Novocide Flea and Tick Killer. Despite its name, Novocide is also labeled to control many pantry pests. Once applied, it will leave behind a long-lasting chemical barrier that will treat pests that come into contact with it. Additionally, Novocide is formulated with an insect growth regulator, or IGR. This will stunt the growth of immature pests that may be able to travel from package to package. Nymphs and larvae affected by the IGR will be unable to grow into reproductive adults and eventually die out. After application, allow the product to dry completely before you restock your shelves. Novocide's residual will continue to control pests for up to 7 months. After you've applied pest control, there are several more things you can do to help prevent stored product pests from infesting your entire pantry. To monitor for any future pest activity, we recommend you set some Pro-Pest Pantry Moth and Beetle Traps. Pro-Pest Traps come pre-baited with pheromones that will lure and help capture pantry moths and other similar pests. Simply peel off the wax paper, then fold the trap into a tent. You can set the trap on a shelf or hang it to catch different crawling or flying insects. One trap will cover an area of up to 300 square feet. Any moths in the area will be drawn to the trap and will get stuck on the glue. If you're concerned about rodents from infesting your pantry, then the prior step involving placing items into airtight containers will prevent any rats or mice from detecting any foodstuffs. If you've experienced rodent infestations in the past, then there may be other underlying conditions causing them to nest nearby. You may need to employ some Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, to prevent rats and mice from nesting on your property. This may involve reducing moisture inside and outside your structure, and reducing harbages by keeping shrubbery and overhanging tree branches trim and at least 3 feet away from your structure, or by raking away leaf litter or picking up lawn debris. To monitor for rodents, we recommend you set some XL Pro Rat Glue Boards. Grip both the board and the wax seal in one corner, then swiftly pull them apart in one fast motion to keep the glue smooth for best placement and attractiveness. You can then fold the board into a box shape. This will provide an enclosed space for rodents to travel in, and it will help prevent debris from building up, which would render the glue ineffective. Set traps along the wall close to common entry points, such as the garage door. Finally, you'll want to go around your structure's interior and exterior perimeters to look for any cracks and crevices that pests can use to invade with. Tighter cracks can be sealed with caulk, while larger voids may need to be stuffed with copper mesh. 
By blocking these entry points, small pests, including rats and mice, will be unable to get inside your home to infest your pantry. Pantry pests can easily remain undetected while causing hundreds of dollars of food damage, but there are ways to control a pest invasion that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop any pest from infesting your pantry, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.